I have the letter C on this volumetric flask indicating that this is camphor solution that I am preparing. Because you will be preparing both camphor and the product solution, you need to have a way to know which volumetric flask contains which solution. As I said, the level should be aligned with the mark. If the solution that you have prepared is a colorless solution, then you look for the lower meniscus of this solution to be exactly in line with the mark drawn on the neck of the volumetric flask. And since the camphor solution looks colorless, that is what we will be aiming for. So after this portion's addition, I'm just going to mix it one more time. And we will continue the addition of ethanol. And this is exactly how you will prepare the product solution also for determining the specific rotation. If you think you want to mix the solution again, please go ahead and do so. As long as you do not spill any solution during mixing, you are doing just fine. Sometimes we can invert the flask after putting the stopper on the flask to again make sure that the solution is uniform in concentration. What do I mean by invert? Making sure that the stopper that you have taken fits the flask perfectly and that there is no leak there. You can put the stopper on, hold the volumetric flask so that the stopper is supported by your palm and invert it and mix it in this fashion. and then put it back. If you do the mixing in that fashion, then you want to wait for a few moments before you remove the stopper. And after removing the stopper, you will have to just rinse the stopper carefully with a few drops just in case there were drops of solution sticking onto the stopper. If the volumetric flask is clean, even if you did the mixing by inversion, there will not be any drops sticking onto the neck of the flask. If you notice that the drops are sticking onto the neck, that means the volumetric flask was not clean to begin with. Here, I don't see any of those, so it is very clean and the volume will be accurate in preparation of this solution. So let us continue the addition. Once the solution reaches, as I said, this joint, you want to really go slowly, drop-wise, extremely carefully to make sure that you do not add more solvent than needed to reach the mark. And as the level is approaching the line on the volumetric flask, you want to be able to read the line 
at your eye level. What do I mean by that? I cannot be standing up and looking at the line below. So what you want to do is you may want to kneel down so that the line is in your eye level and so you're eliminating any error due to the parallax. So continue to add and watch the level of the liquid. very slowly as you get closer to the line. It looks like I need maybe a tiny drop. And a tinier drop this time. 